Hey, Mr. Gorski coming to you from the kitchen this time. It's Sunday and I'm trying to trying to get this all done so that I can watch and enjoy uh, the last dance for all of those who are watching it. Okay, first, um, you said April 14th. I didn't mention which year. Now, I don't think this is, whole thing is going to last a year. Um, there's It's a possibility, but I, I think we'll get um, treatment and all those other things long before that. Um, and we'll talk about that in just a second. May 11th is National Ear What You Want Day. Or Eat What You Want Day. I was going to say ear. Eat What You Want Day. There you go. National Foam Rolling Day, National Twilight Zone Day, and National Women's Checkup Day. And then May 12th is National Limerick Day. Those are those fun poems about people. There once was a man from... I don't know. You know, you've probably heard those poems before. National Odometer Day. That's that little thing that tells your car how far it's gone. That's called the odometer. National Nutty Fudge Day and National Fibromyalgia Awareness Day. Fibromyalgia is a tough degenerative disease. Okay. Um, this is Isaac Newton, and Isaac Newton actually went to school um, to Trinity College at the time that there was a big plague. And so his school was closed to the plague. And the meme says, gets bored and invents calculus. He didn't invent calculus then, but he did study and finish his studies in the two years that his school was off. But again, we're in the 21st century. They already have a couple of vaccines in the works, possibly um, for approval in September. So I don't think we're going to be dealing with this for years. Hope not. Um, the question for the uh, for the little survey um, on Thursday and Friday was a number one and you had to find the missing number and the answer was 24. So what you have to do is you have to add this box and this box or this box and this box or this box and this box and then multiply it by that. So three plus two plus three is, is five times one is five. Two plus 11 is 13 times two is 26. Four plus 2 is 6, times 3 is 18. So 2 plus 6 is 8, times 3 is 24. Congratulations to Emmy, Tori, and Grady. Our puzzle um, for a Monday and Tuesday is, can you figure it out? What comes next? Which of these comes next? Should be easy enough. That's, that's what you say before you give a puzzle. Should be easy enough. It should be, but it doesn't always make it easy. Um, Woohoo's go out to Evie and Brandon, and of course, at any time you're working or you want to just check up and say, hey, what's up, Mr. Gorski, up to? Um, go to uh, Schoology. I'm also good at math, you know, but go to Schoology um, conferences. It's in our class. Just click on conferences over there, and yeah, there you go. You can conference with me. The office hours are again eight or 9 to 11 and then 1 to 2.30. I'm there every day. Um, for Monday and Tuesday, our assignments, we're watching the video right now. Um, the Lesson 4 Pair Deck, it's Elaborate. We're going to do a reading science activity. Um, and it should be pretty, pretty uh, straightforward. So which science class are you in? You read, read, and then you answer some questions. So you're going to place some dots or you can circle or you can highlight um, your answers. So there's five of those questions. And then you're going to write a haiku. Ooh, haikus. I love haikus. Actually, you know, this is limerick day, but whatever. We'll write haikus. Um, I'll give you a couple examples of haikus outside of just these. So an example poem, um, and you can't just copy this one. A haiku is goes five syllables, then seven syllables, then five syllables. So you know, like syllables, like you clap out, like Mr. Gorski. You know, you clap uh, syllables out if you remember that from like kindergarten. So you're counting syllables, not words, um, and you just make three lines. And that's what a haiku is. I'll share some haikus. So here are two I literally just wrote in the last minute. Um, Mr. Todd Harvey loves every Chicago team. And Iowa, duh. So, if you clap out the syllables, Mr. Todd Harvey, five syllables, loves every Chicago team, seven syllables. And Iowa, duh, five syllables. You'll notice the poems don't have to rhyme. I guess they could, but they don't have to. I also write this one. Dingman loves reading. Guess that's why she teaches it. And she's taught math, too. So, 
We're not talking about like giant long poems with 800 lines that have to rhyme. Um, and then there's a little kind of quiz thing here at the end. You just kind of move the dots to where the answers go. And that's it. If you need any help, of course, you can email me, catch me on um, Schoology conferences. And if you, especially because we're in our last two weeks, if you need to um, go back and finish any assignments or um, need help on any makeup work, uh, let me know. Okay. See you guys later. Bye-bye.